As the October 1st implementation of St. Lucia's new minimum wage approaches, the Department of Labor is intensifying efforts to educate both employers and employees and their staff about the rights and responsibilities under the new law. In preparation, the Minimum and Equal Wages Commission conducted a presentation to Labor Department officers aimed at providing them with a comprehensive knowledge of the new regulations. Permanent Secretary Sheila Imbert emphasized the importance of this training in ensuring effective enforcement of the minimum wage standards. The Minimum and Equal Wages Commission made a presentation to the staff at the Labor Department and we thought it was necessary to get them to come in to present so we have an understanding of what transpired in arriving at the minimum wage but also to be able to enforce um, in relation to the Labor Act, the Labor Officers, um, Section 85, indicates that they have the power to inspect. And so it becomes part of their responsibility to, sh to ensure enforcement of the minimum wage. And so as part of stakeholder consultation, we thought it was a good opportunity to have them come in. The officers were able to ask questions, seek clarification on the areas that they were not clear on, how was the minimum wage arrived at, um, and to put them in a better position to be able to answer questions as it relates to the minimum wage and to conduct their duties as labor officers. As the primary enforcers of labor laws, these officers will be responsible for ensuring that employers across the island comply with the new wage standards. Chairman of the Minimum Wages Commission, Lawrence Poyot, emphasized it is the duty of labor officers to ensure adherence to the law by employers. The most important responsibility of the labor officers under the legislation is to administer the provisions of the Labor Act. The minimum wage forms part of the Labor Act and it would be the responsibility of the labor officers to ensure that there is compliance. Nikolai Lansiko, Labor Officer in the Department of Labor, spoke on the outcomes of the presentation and the staff anticipation of the implementation of the minimum wage. The information provided by the Minimum Wage Commission was, was proper. We got a proper understanding of how they arrived at, at the minimum wage, what were the calculations involved, what were the parameters involved. I believe the information that was provided will go a long way in benefiting not just the staff, but the, the public who would call us to find out information on the minimum wage. There's some level of enthusiasm among the staff, uh, as well as management. Management has pledged to provide the staff with the necessary resources, tools and equipment to um, get the minimum wage off the ground to do its promotion and of course its enforcement. The introduction of a minimum wage is a long-awaited development in St. Lucia, aimed at addressing income inequality and improving the standard of living for low-income workers. The government's decision reflects a commitment to social justice and economic equity, recognizing the importance of fair compensation in fostering a stable and prosperous society. The initiative is expected to have a positive impact on the workforce, contributing to greater economic stability and reducing poverty across the island.